Hey guys, this is Chandan Kumar from India and once again I am here with my new tutorial exclusively for CG Tools Plus. And this time I will show you how to do clock hands animation in 3ds Max. You can see uh, animated clock hands and this is something which I will which I have done with using uh, expressions in 3ds Max. And this is done mathematically and so perfectly that when the R hand travels from 1 to 2, means when it completes 1 hour of time, the minute hand completes one full rotation cycle, means completes 60 minutes. And this is all done with the help of expressions in 3ds Max. And uh, I have also made a custom attribute for the minute hand. And when I change the value here, it affects the minute hand. Actually, this custom attribute controls the rotation of the minute hand. So in this tutorial, I will show you how to make such kind of uh, system in 3ds Max. So let's start. And uh, first of all, let me save the old scene. And I make a complete new scene here. And now I take a cylinder and uh, in the front view I drag it to make a basic shape of wall clock. It has a small uh, thickness which I don't want right now. Okay. Again being in the front view I increase the cap segment by 2. Now zoom in and uh, place this cylinder's center at the center of the grid. This is very important to do before we move ahead. Okay. Now let's divide the segments of the cylinder in 12 equal parts. Decrease the sides to 12. Now we have 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 again. So this is the basic setup of the clock base press F4 you can see something like this okay now let's create numbers go to spline and click on text and here type 12 and click on the viewport 12 comes here but the size is too big so scale it down to something like this now apply extrude modifier onto it and a very small extrusion amount will do here. You can see it here in the perspective viewport. Again go to front view, take a copy of 12 by pressing shift and drag, put it here and go to text once again and rename it as 1. So this becomes 1. Again copy 1 and put it here and rename it as 2. Again make a copy of 2 and put it here. In text rename it as 3. So just like this I make the complete R set from 1 to 12. Now let's create the hands, minute hand and our hand. So for that I take a box and drag it here to make the minute hand. In the left view you can see uh, uh, you can see that it's quite thick so let's make a bit thinner. Bring it ahead and uh, I shift the clock base a bit backward. Now this looks fine. Now if you try to rotate this hand, it will rotate from its middle point. So this is not right. So we have to change its pivot point. So 
go to uh, hierarchy and click on affect pivot only and now drag its pivot and put it here at the bottom of the minute hand zoom in so that you can see it perfectly where you have to put the pivot this looks fine you can do one more thing put the bottom of the minute hand at the middle of the grid exactly this is a very important thing guys because if you don't do it you won't get the perfect rotation of the minute hand this looks quite good now convert this box into editable poly and being in the vertex mode select the top vertices and scale them down to bring them quite closer so now the minute hand is quite ready uh, before moving ahead I rename it as uh, minute hand okay now copy this minute hand and put it here rename it as uh, R hand so this is the R hand and this is the minute hand one thing you can do uh, being in the vertex mode of R hand you can make it a bit smaller than the minute hand usually the R hand is smaller than the minute hand zoom in and put it also uh, at the middle of the grid that's fine now this is how it looks um, in the perspective view and it is always good to create all the things with basic settings first now it's time to establish a relation between these two hands I want when this minute hand travels from 12 to 12 means when it completes one full rotation or 60 minutes then this R hand should travel from 3 to 4 means the complete 1 R so this is how I will establish an expression here it means this minute hand will control the R hand so with the minute hand selected do right click and go to wire parameter and here go to transform rotation and choose Y rotation and then click on the R hand go to transform rotation and Y rotation the parameter wiring window up appears here we have to do something like this the minute hands rotation in Y axis will control the R hands rotation in the same axis this way so click on this arrow and then click on connect now you can see that the R hand has taken the place of the uh, initial uh, position of the minute hand it looks overlapped so if you rotate the minute hand the R hand will also follow the same rotation and you can't really rotate the R hand anymore because it is now controlled by the minute hand so it is not independent now so these two hands are now going simultaneously if you rotate uh, the minute hand the R hand rotates too so open the parameter wiring dialog once again now divide the Y rotation value of uh, R hand by 12 and then click on update it means now if the minute hand completes one full cycle the R hand will complete only the 12th part of this cycle so this is how the minute hand controls the rotation of the R hand so before moving ahead I set the time um, as 3 o'clock now let's talk about animation right now if you want to animate it every single time you have to animate the minute hand with the rotation tool so I don't want to use the rotation tool every time so here I will create a custom attribute 
which will control the rotation of this minute hand. So select this minute hand, go to animation menu and click on this parameter editor option. And here we can create either a spin or slider. I choose here a spinner and I rename uh, this parameter as uh, animation controller and here the range is from 0 to 100 which is good no need to change it everything is fine here now click on add and you can find this animation controller under the custom attributes section of the minute hand so this is the spinner right now nothing happens if I change the values because I haven't uh, created any connection between uh, this custom attribute and the minute hands rotation so right click here go to wire parameter and in the object section choose custom attribute and then click on animation controller then click on this minute hand transform rotation and click on Y axis here we want uh, the animation controller should control the rotation of the minute hand in Y axis this way and click on connect now this is the thing I wanted to show you now you can control the rotation of the minute hand by this animation controller here the minute hand completes one full rotation cycle there the R hand completes one R time and with the help of the uh, animation control custom attribute you can animate the rotation very easily you never have to go to minute hand and then animate it manually this is all controlled by the animation controller let's say uh, we have to show the animation of clock hands uh, till 100 frame turn on the auto key button and uh, let's show the animation from 12 o'clock to 2 o'clock so this is how it animates very quickly and very effectively you don't need to touch the hour hand as well as minute hand at all You may experience some ease in ease out kind of thing in the animation of the minute hand. So to make it constant, uh, go to curve editor and search for the animation controller. Here it is select these two points together and then click on this linear option now it makes the animation constant close it and play the animation once again now you won't feel any ease in ease out thing and the animation of the minute hand uh, will be in constant speed so this is how we can make a setup for clock animation and uh, once you are done with your settings you can convert it into a real clock model first of all put all the numbers inside then increase the side segments to make the clock base uh, much smoother and uh, round put it a bit behind all the numbers and now you can design the clock model as you want for now uh, I make a simple frame of this wall clock I pick a circle and drag it till the parameter of the clock then I convert it into editable spline being in the spline mode I go to outline and uh, make a small outline of it
I apply the extrude modifier onto it. It looks a bit jagged. So I go to editable spline mode once again. And in the interpolation tab, I increase it quite high. And hence it becomes much smoother. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and must have learned some uh, useful techniques today. So keep practicing and do let me know if you have any questions regarding this. I would love to answer them. So see you in my next tutorial. Till then, this is Chandan Kumar from India for CG Tutors Plus exclusively. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.